Hi, I'm Congressman Bob Latta. The biggest story in the news is the battle over the nation's debt ceiling. However, another story is brewing. Going unnoticed across the country is the EPA's upcoming proposal on the ozone standard. The EPA on Friday is expected to propose a more stringent air quality standard, reducing the existing 0 0.075 parts per million standard. Specifically, of the counties currently monitored by the EPA, this means Wood and Lucas counties wouldn't comply with the proposed standard, a standard they currently meet. Additionally, 33 EPA monitored counties in Ohio, as well as 86% of the monitored counties nationwide, would fail to meet the strictest standard in the EPA's proposal. If the rule goes into effect, it would effectively create a legal moratorium on job growth and business expansion in Wood and Lucas counties. To be blunt, businesses won't look at creating jobs in our backyard. Nationally, the estimated costs for businesses to comply with this rule range anywhere from 20 to 90 billion dollars annually, according to the Business Roundtable. The EPA's message to Ohio was loud and clear. Bureaucrats will add to Ohio's jobless rate of 8.8 percent. We all want clean air. Regulations must be prudent, not cavalier. There is tremendous pain and suffering. 13.9 million unemployed Americans who want and need jobs desperately. Plain and simple, the EPA's job-killing proposal will hurt our fragile economic recovery. I urge you to call the EPA and have them reconsider this standard. I'm Congressman Bob Latta from Bowling Green, and I thank you for your time.